Almost a year after a deadly hit and run crash in Polk County, there have been no charges. And now the pandemic might keep the victim's family waiting even longer for answers. A driver hit and killed Eric Keys in Cedartown back in September of last year. That driver, Ralph Dover, called his friend, State Representative Trey Kelly, to come to that scene. Kelly then called the police chief at home. Well, Police Chief Jamie Newsom didn't call 911 either, but called his sergeant to go meet the two men at the scene. Eric died while waiting for almost an hour for medical help. Uh, many of you have been emailing our newsroom asking why 10 months since that deadly crash, no one has been charged or arrested. I recently spoke with the victim's brother and it's an in interview you only see right here on Up Late. In the last 10 months, a lot has changed in the world. But in some ways, Eric Key's family feels as though it's been at a standstill. It's just like, man, how many months do I gotta wait? Because I mean, I'm right down the street from the courthouse. I'm ready to get it going, but I'm ready. Ready for someone to be held accountable in his brother's death. Despite evidence of a hit and run, the police department still hasn't arrested or charged anyone in the deadly crash. I was ready for Trey Kelly and the uh, chief of uh, city of town, Jamie Newsom and Dover to be arrested. I believe that they're trying to push this one off because they're still trying to cover it up. I mean, they're still trying to make it act like it's nothing. The crash happened on September 11, 2019. The reveal exposed a story in February of this year. This mess here stinks to the high heavens. This reeks of the good old boy system. After our story, Polk County DA Jack Browning said he would present the case to a grand jury in March. But then the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Several judicial orders since then have kept the DA's office from convening a grand jury. And until the emergency order is lifted, the DA's office says it's unclear when the case could be heard. The DA's office obviously has difficulties in presenting the case forward on a criminal side. It doesn't prevent the police department from bringing arrest and making charges and moving the case forward from their end. Key's family attorney, Min Koo, says she served the city papers, starting the process for a wrongful death lawsuit and is sending similar notices to the driver and representative, Trey Kelly. We have not had any response from, from any other parties that we've sent the notice to. It would not be proper for me to comment. Any In the meantime, Representative Kelly has brushed off calls for him to resign. Kelly won a primary this spring and will have to keep fighting this November to keep his seat. Justice for Eric. Just last month, a group from the community gathered outside the Polk County Courthouse calling for the courts to hear the case before voters head back to the ballot box again. We're still hopeful. Obviously, uh, we are ready to fight forward and get justice for Eric. So we haven't uh, given up on that end. It's depressing, it's upsetting, but I have faith and, you know, I, have, I believe in the Lord and he will, he will prevail in this case and we will be all right, I know we will.